So today we are going to test to see if a broken solar panel or a cracked panel, the one you see behind me here, um, produces the same as what a perfect panel of the exact same model produces. It is not cracked. So when I set up my initial solar array, I bought two pallets of solar panels, about 20 kilowatts uh, worth of panels. And I bought a few extra, which you see behind me, because I was aware that moving these things around as heavy as they are on pallets, it's certainly possible for a couple to be cracked. And sure enough, I shattered one completely that you see behind me here. So let's give them a test and see uh, how they perform head to head. So for this test, I am using a really handy solar panel test meter that makes it really easy to test to get wattage, not just volts. Um, but wattage as well. So, and you can do that if you have a multimeter, which is a lot cheaper option, but then you have to put the panels under load. So it's a little more difficult. These can give you that. Now they are pricey, so they're probably not for everybody, but I'll leave a link in the description in case you are interested. All right, let's get to testing. So these are Longi 320 watt panels. And as you can see here, it is pretty shattered, really bad. I mean, you can't really, yeah, you can feel the cracks in a few areas especially right here it is completely shattered um, and there's a hole through it so even if i wanted to use this outside i would have to put oh, a sheet of vinyl you can put over it that'll work i've seen people do that waterproofs it for not too expensive and then i've got the panel right next to it which is the exact same thing and it is perfect 320 watt panel so it is about 2 p.m in texas and it is uh let's see november 28th 2023 so the sun is going a little bit to the west of us right now, so it shouldn't be getting the 320 watts, but let's see what it's doing right now. So this is the good panel. 284 watts right now. So pretty darn good for this time of day. It is a sunny day. As you can see, there's no clouds in the sky, but the sun is pretty low in the sky because it is uh, getting close to winter. And you have it on the auto setting here. It'll ping every about 30 seconds and retest it. Still 284 watts. All right, let's check the broken one. All right, so I've got the broken one hooked up now. Let's see what we're getting on this thing. 110 watts, so huge difference. As you can see, they are both the exact same angle. So it is making a large difference. So if those of you who are thinking about buying cracked solar panels, just be aware that if they've got large cracks in them, you're going to lose a lot of your production. I mean, that's over half what I was getting. Shoot, more like 60, 70% less. So be aware if you have, if you are going to buy used panels, maybe take one of these with you so you can test them on site. And they come with these clips too. So you can plug right into the solar panels and it goes right into the top of this device. So real easy to use. I mean, so dummy proof. It does it by itself. You don't have to do anything but hit this little manual button or auto button here and i leave it in auto yeah so if you would make sure to like this video subscribe to this channel if you want to see more content like this and if you are interested in the whole home solar system like i have here that i've installed um, that i use the grid as backup only i'll leave a link in the description where you can download my entire system diagram a pdf of it all all the equipment i use all the parts um, you can go to solarpdfdownload.com to get that for free if you are interested other than that thanks a lot everyone